Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft. We've been doing this for five years. And so today I wanna to look back on April of 2017, my top 10 performing videos of that month. And uh, we're just gonna look back and see how they did and what I think about them now. So number 10 is uh, YouTube gear or equipment for better videos. Uh, basically, I just talked about my YouTube setup. I should probably do that again. I haven't done that in a really long time. I kind of like talking about my YouTube stuff because it just reminds me of the because my videos are constantly slowly getting better and uh, it's kind of nice going through and reminding myself of where I started and how I got to where I am today so I might do an update on that video thumbs up this video if that's something that you're into uh, number nine is what are these because I didn't know how to uh, write a good uh, title I didn't know how to do anything back then really uh, it was my second month on YouTube uh, but the, I talked about packable jackets and I really like those packable jackets. I still use them today and yeah, I really like them. That video doesn't do really well, probably because of the title. Nobody knows what it is. The thumbnail is not very good, so it doesn't even show what they are. And so I'm guessing no one cares about that video, but I should probably do a video on that too. I should probably do an updated video because I do. I use packable jackets a lot. I have a rain jacket and a winter jacket and I actually use both of them. Uh, number eight, Battle Box. That was the hygiene box. That was a very disappointing box. I, I'm i pretty sure I threw everything in that box away. I didn't use one single thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the whole box went in the garbage. But uh, that was disappointing. But, you know, when you, when you sign up for these subscription boxes, you never know what you're going to get. And that one just happened to be a dud. Uh, seven, keeping tools safe and sharp. Uh, I basically talked about how I take care of my knives, uh, how I oil them, how I sharpen them, how I take care of them, and I keep them working, up and running. Uh, next, we have basic gear, blankets versus sleeping bags. I talked about the difference between using blankets for camping and sleeping bags and the advantages of each. I use both. Like I've always used both. I still use both. I like blankets because they're more spacious and roomy. I like sleeping bags because they're warmer. Uh, they don't draft and they don't crunch up. There have been lots of times where I'll be sleeping and I'll roll over with a blanket and then there's a hole or a gap and the air seeps in. But uh, I use both. I still use both. I've always used both. There's pros and advantages. Blankets are better in the summer because you can open them up, close them a lot easier. So yeah, that's what I talked about. Uh, Go-to books about camping, bushcraft, and preparedness. I've always really liked books. I feel like there's a lot more knowledge in books than there is on YouTube. Because YouTube will just tell you what you're searching for. Right? If you don't know what to search for, you're not going to get that information. Where in the books, you'll... there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you already know, but there's a lot of stuff that you may have never heard of. And the only way to get that information is in a book. Because again, if you don't know what it is, you'll never search it or Google it because you don't even know it exists. So I've always been a big fan of books. Uh, number four is camping locations using the four W's. So the four W's are wood, water, weather, and widow makers. And when you're finding a camp location, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to all four of those things. Uh, that is something I still hold. I think it's five W's now. I don't know what the fifth W is. But the four W's, it's something I always pay attention to. Those are, uh, that is my go-to method. When I look at a spot where I might set up a tent, I always go through the four W's first. So it is a helpful video. Uh, best sleep using sleeping bags or wool blankets. In that video, I showed you how I used my sleeping pad with a sleeping bag and a wool blanket. The way that I use my wool blanket is exactly the same, but uh, five years I have gained a few pounds and um, I cannot fit my sleeping pad and me in my sleeping bag at the same time anymore. I've just, I've grown up, I've gotten too big. And so I don't do that anymore, but I still use the wool blanket exactly the same. And I wish I could still fit my sleeping pad in there because it's just a, such a convenient way of making sure that everything that the sleeping pad stays underneath you 
Uh, if you haven't, I'll list, I'll, li I'll link all of these videos in the description box down below. I tried to say link in description at the same time. But I'll link them down below. Just know that I don't fit in my sleeping bag like I used to anymore. Uh, number two was thank you for 100 subscribers. Uh, I got my first subscriber, my first 100 subscribers uh, five years ago. I've grown a little bit since then. Hopefully I keep growing. And uh, yeah, it was just a thank you to the people that have subscribed since then. And then my number one best performing video of that month was lightweight packable camping games. I think that was Caroline's first solo video that she made by herself. Uh, she filmed it herself. I edited it and I uploaded it, but she filmed it herself. And I think people just wanted to see Caroline. I think people love Caroline. And uh, that video, it gets views every once in a while. It doesn't take off like some of my other videos, but it still gets views every once in a while. And again, I think it's just because people like to hear from Caroline and hear what she has to say about things. So those are my 10 best performing videos from five years ago. Make sure to subscribe and next month we'll go over my best videos of May of 2017 and I can't wait to see you on the next one.